uh, I want to pick your brain about how you use Otter, the, the, the AI thing. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, cause I want to roll that or something like it out and I don't have time to make minutes <laughs> in a, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've used Otter for, like I said, for like five years, um, for journalism, it works pretty well. It makes it really easy to edit the transcripts, which is nice. So it timestamps the transcripts. So if you just click on part of the text, it'll start playing the audio, which makes it really easy to go back oh, and see it. Got it. Yeah. Um, obviously, five years ago, there wasn't any of the AI functionality in it. I don't super trust AI. Like, I'm a, a big skeptic on that. So I don't know how much I trust that side of it. So I never use it. I just go in got and it. edit transcripts. But it's a pretty nice text-to-speech tool. So All right. Cool. Cool. Um, let's see, I think we're just quarter after now here, so. Here's Allegra. There we are. Hey, Allegra. Um, sorry, my computer decided it was time to update right when I tried to log in. So, <laughs> like they do. My, my last job or a couple of jobs ago, I like every computer in the organization would update at like like a specific time, like midday on a Thursday, and it was <laughs> like you'd hear these you know, this never ending stream of like horror stories of <laughs> everybody, uh, everyone's week getting blown up by the computer restart. So I've been there. <laughs> but I'm here, here I am. Here, oh, we're happy to have you. Um, so yeah, so we're, um, I guess we're, we're technically a public meeting now as a subcommittee. Um, we did some agendas sponsored by Gaston to start, um, uh, which did, did you guys see that that I sent out or I can, I, I can share it. Would that be helpful? Yeah. yeah I could share it. That'd be great. <laughs> All right. And the idea here is just that this is the one time that he will do that because there's no chair of these, but our first, let's see, uh, tab maybe, um, here we go. Ed engage. That's us. Um, can I see that? Oh, I mean, I can zoom in, but, um, so this is the, the idea is to be here is to be relatively generic. Um, but if one of you wants to be a chair, then the two of you can just produce agendas going forward. Um, so I, you know, and then, uh, we can talk about documentation after that, but. So shall we go ahead and do that? Yeah, sounds good. All right. You know, and I think ultimately the the you could collaborate on actually making agendas. Um, uh, and then I think whoever is the chair probably is, should, should be the one to just like, you know, be responsible for sending an email out and, you know, and, and as the group gains members or whatever, and, uh, or if that happens and reporting back to sort of making sure that this entity, whatever its form is reporting back to the full trust as appropriate and all that. I'm here. My connection is just unstable. So I turned my video off. Gotcha. 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 Allegra, I know originally you um, expressed interest in being on this committee first? Do you have interest in serving as the chair of the subcommittee? Um, I can do it if you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> what 
What do you think, Alex? Um, I, I think I'd be more comfortable with Allegra being the chair. Yeah, <laughs> if you're okay with that, Allegra. All right, I can, I can do that. Right. Awesome. So the other thing, Allegra's the chair. Um, and yeah, and I don't think there's like, you know, like we, we necessarily have to, like we, we, we can add responsibilities to the chair uh, role through consensus, uh, you know, but I think for now um, it's really just like, you know, being the person who can kind of like stamp an agenda or really ideally produce an agenda, which will hopefully come out of each meeting, you know, previously and, um, you know, and a little bit of email and stuff, but no, no major stuff un un until you agree to more major stuff um, um, outside of just the work of the committee generally. Um, so the other thing sort of workload wise is the next item on the agenda, which I think is hopefully still up. Yeah. Is just talking about minutes and, and whatnot. Um, I am not able to manage capturing minutes for every single one of these subcommittees. Um, so the, the thinking, you know, Gaston and I chatted about it a little bit and you all can, can, can you know, offer feedback here, but um, when these are on Zoom and even potentially when they're not, uh, you know, whether using like, you know, a tool like Otter that Alex has in person, you know, maybe with a re recording device or whatever, or just running Zoom in the background or something. Um, I think technically if we have a transcript of a meeting um, that can count as minutes in the, uh, the legal sense, uh, it, it doesn't won't actually be that functional. Um, but I think in the spirit of these, hopefully we're taking away our own to do's and, you know, functional things and action items. And we can satisfy the legal obligation just with a slightly cleaned up transcript uh, from, um, you know, from zoom calls or, similar tools if we're in person. Does that work okay as a, a plan? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, and then maybe we can just rotate or something as far as just like cleaning up those transcripts. Is that? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and I'm happy to do the first one. And Alex, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll follow up with you and ask you about Otter because I've been meaning to do that anyway. But um, all right, so rotate. Transcripts. All right. So that's, I think, kind of the logistical business, um, you know, as far as like committee format, um, we can get to, we can get to scheduling um, a little bit later. Um, unless you, unless you, got, you would rather address that now. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> that, so, so should we should I kind of offer some updates in that case? Yes. All right. So, yeah. So my thought was, and, you know, per the, you know, per the, the sort of agenda there, you know, dialogue wise, you know, we can come at, you know, the whole of that list there or just decide there's one specific piece that interests us. You know, we've had one of these meetings so far. I can tell you how um, Erica and Rob approached it um, via on the funding side, how, how they're thinking about approaching their work. But I want to just share a couple staff things that I think, you know, some things that I've been working on that I think are relevant um, uh, to this stuff um, uh, that might be, that, that might be insertion points for this this subgroup or might or at a minimum or just good for you all to know um you know so with that you know so under the category of um strategic engagement with other boards um i've been thinking about that both in terms of the specific trust objectives that we've identified, uh, you know, which, you know, th there will be plenty of opportunity, I think, to do that. And then also just the vibe overall in town and being a catalyst for positive housing outcomes among these boards and a, a specific dynamic. And it's funny, I sit between now between a planner uh, who, who works on the planning side uh, and then 
the uh, the wetlands administrator. Am I right? So I pick up little bits and pieces and have discerned, you know, the, you know, I think the ZBA, um, you know, is currently considering the Wayfinders effort, um, and that process has has slowed down <laughs> a fair amount, uh, you know, fairly significantly. Um, my understanding is it's still not, um, and I, it's still not, it, it's not like a, a major concern as far as like major changes to the projects or anything like that, but it's slowed down enough that it, it, it's sort of getting back to just, you know, bureaucracy and, 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 you know, and then lots of nitpicking that, you know, I, is potentially outside the ZBA's purview, um, which a few weeks ago made me think that maybe or maybe not with this particular project, but a, a concrete thing to look at might be just like looking at ZBA best practices. Uh, and, um, and the next time there's a, a project that we're interested in um, uh, going to the ZBA and, and advocating for some of those best practices up front, uh, you know, and, and, and maybe following up, you know, um, but then a, a more in the weeds component of this and, and, per, and perhaps an opportunity for more immediate involvement specifically related to the Wayfinder thing is this sort of what, what, what I loosely understand. And I think a, a to do would be for, um, you know, for folks to go and research the, I guess the videos of previous meetings and and understand a bit more nuance on what precisely is happening. But the thing that I, that that has come to my attention is that the Conservation Commission and the ZBA are, could well be at very at cross purposes right now uh, on um, on uh, issues related to the ZBA wanting more parking, uh, I think specifically at Belcher Town Road, if I'm not mistaken, and I confirm that one. Um, again, it's all kind of hearsay, not hearsay, but like I've heard bits and pieces just kind of reported second degrees. I don't have bandwidth to actually listen to all these meetings right now. Um, so on one hand, you have the ZBA asking for more parking. On the other hand, you have the Conservation Commission asking for uh, better um uh, wetlands and, and just water management uh, of the site. Um, and these things are in a lot of ways in the, in the engineering sense, uh, very much at cross purposes. And it's not clear to me if one body, if, if, to what degree each body is aware of, um, of that, that tension, other than what perhaps the applicant is, is, is maybe sharing. Um, but I'm not really sure to what degree Wayfinders is pointing that out or if they feel comfortable, you know, pointing out that dysfunction, you know, I'll, I'll, I kind of perceive it that way. So, you know, so that might be an area to, you know, to sort of, you know, research and, and, you know, and, and maybe weigh in on, um, you know, in that I could see, you know, that issue could be replicated elsewhere and, and I see it as problematic and probably it'd be healthy to, to facilitate, if nothing else, to sort of be, to, to create a conduit if it's not there but between those bodies. Um, so that's an issue. Um, so that's kind of, that's probably the, the stickiest and most interesting one. Um, the other um, thing to know, a couple, couple of things to know is, I, you all, if you've been on email, you saw a survey from me this morning um, uh, the HPP surveys live, um, um, and, and that could be a thing, uh, to evangelize about if, if that was exciting, it's a little bit outside the, it, 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 it encompasses trust objectives, but it's probably bigger than them too. So that may or may not be, um, you know, but it's concrete. Uh, so that's something that's favor, I think. Um, we are also in the CPA application process. Uh, and, and it's funny, I, I kind of, I kicked some CPA questions to the funding group um, in that uh, it's about funding, but then I realized actually you all are in doing strategic engagement with other boards too. So that's, you know, uh, I can update some, you know, where we're at there if you want. Um, and then um, I was going to ask Allegra if we've heard anything from John or the League of Women Voters representative. Um, so that's kind of the, uh, the stuff that's on my radar um, around public engagement and board engagement and stuff.
Um, so I had heard from John, I had sent him the link to this meeting just in case, but I don't see any um, other participants besides us, but I, I do plan to have a Zoom with them. Um, so himself and Rebecca Frick um, okay, that's right. next Thursday at 7 p.m. So great. Um, and do we know, have, have we heard from them when they're, if, if, if they're targeting a uh, time horizon for that? Or do um, we not know yet? It sounded like they wanted to do something with a pretty quick turnaround, but I'm not sure where I am with a pretty quick turnaround at this point. Okay. So um, I'm going to take my video off though, because I'm echoing. Um, okay. You know, um, I have a quick response that, that just is coming to mind now. Um, but a Alex did, did it before I kind of respond to the, um, the women voters possibility. Does any of what I shared resonate or did, did you want to, is there any thoughts you've got there? No, um, I, I feel like I'm still catching up in some ways to Massachusetts processes as they differ from Indiana processes. Sure. Yeah. Um, so I'd be curious to hear more as you learn about some of the the tensions that you were saying you might be picking up on between different committees and who actually has a like, supersedence there. I'd I'd be interested in that. Um, but yeah. Yeah. And I mean the for sure. And, and that's, and I, and I'd say like, that might be an area for like further research um, in that, you know, when I say tension, I mean, I'm not sure if I, if I use the term, term tension, it's not so much that those committees are in conflict. It's that what they're asking, the things that they're asking for are in conflict. I right. suspect they actually don't even know at least, uh, you know, comprehensively among each member I suspect they're not even aware that their requests are in conflict, right? And and to yeah. me, and, and and I kind of perceive that as a sort of a bureaucratic failing, you know. But I think one aspect of this, you know, this sort of strategic board engagement we talked about could be sort of you know making connections when there's you know poor wiring like that, um, you know, yeah. um, and I, and how that looks I, that could look a lot of different ways, you know, um, depending on. Uh, the context, but, um, you know, but to me, it's, you know, so I, I think, but like, yeah, so that's, and then to the, um, to the Lee Wynn voters thing, another thing I want to drop in the pool a little bit, you know, and just in that it's happening is there, there's going to be another community meeting for the housing production plan. Um, you know, that's part of their scope. Um, and right now it's, you know, they, we were thinking December, but we having some scheduling issues. So they're looking at um, January, like early January. I think it is, and I think they just sent over the idea of the seventh perhaps. Um, I, although I have to confirm that, but perhaps, you know, and I want to talk to them and, you know, see, it, we have to talk with the League of Women Voters and whatnot, but there might be an opportunity there for combining those, you know, if there was, especially if there was an interest from the league in doing something very soon. I can run that as a possibility. Um, and John did send me a pretty detailed email. Uh, do -do. I think they're thinking of kind of like a basic educational event um, and talking about, well, yes, there's talking about more ideas later, but. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, I think the, the community, the, the, the HPP community meeting would be aimed at all like, you know, folks of all levels of housing literacy, you know, so mm -hmm. it would, it would be inclusive of like those who, who would benefit from basic education, but it, it, there also be some downtime, some downsides to merging a little bit too. Um, you know, in, you know, in that I think combining the consultant with sort of more grassroots folks 
they, they kind of have different objectives or different different work processes too. So we'd have to kind of weigh that. But you know, it's 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 something that's in the mix. So I thought I'd share. Um, um, maybe I'll see if we can. I'll float this with them too, and just you know, without committing to anything and, you know, see if it's of interest. Um, and also maybe I'll see if they have a draft agenda um, for that. I could probably get that before Thursday, Allegra. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess my question to um, the league would be, are they thinking that this would be kind of part of their, they have a lecture series, um, so would it be like part of that or would it just be kind of its own standalone event? Um, yeah, that's, that, that's key. And Allegra, do you have a sense if uh, I'm, uh, I'm not sure if you're how familiar you are with like their, their milieu of events and, and, and stuff, you know, do you have a sense if they advertise and, and, you know, are active in organizing something, you know, will they have a dedicated audience that will turn out for that? Yeah, I'm not sure if you have that. a Facebook page that they post things onto. And I think that they might network through other like kind of grassroots organizing Facebook pages as well to make sure that those things get posted. Um, I did speak at one of their events um, regarding something else. And I think there were about like 30 people that attended. Okay. The event. Um, and I know during at the height of the pandemic, they had some pretty well attended events as well. So. Yeah, that's, that, that's a good sign to me. You know, I mean, I think like, you know, I, I think 30 folks is a, you know, an Amherst is a good number um, for sure. So that's, and I think like one of the things I think to understand, you know, with this sort of thing is, you know, if there's a collaborative effort, you know, who's making, you know, what levels of commitment around turnout, um, you know, but if, you know, if that, you know, if that were kind of their, their baseline or something close to it, you know, you know, I think we could, usefully add to that without having to stress out about, you know, are we going to get enough of an audience to make an event worth it? So that's cool. They used to advertise in like the superintendent's newsletter, but I feel like the format of that has kind of changed with the new superintendent. So I will try and they usually send things out on Fridays. So I'll just check and see if there's still kind of like a community advertising component to that sort of thing. Cause that's where you know, like the Girl Scouts would send in information and then the superintendent would send it out or like soccer, you know, things sure. that aren't necessarily like school related, but could have some interest. Yeah, but it's community related that yeah. are related to students, families and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. like, um, so yeah, I mean, so I, that's kind of, I think what the, you know, the live the stuff that's out there, that, you know, so I, yeah, I guess we can kind of um, see what comes to that Zoom and then, um, you know, Allegra, if there's interim steps, you know, or stuff to jump on before we are scheduled to meet again, you can just mm -hmm. follow up with us, um, you know, quick or, or if it's longer, further out, we can just revisit, you know, when we assemble again. Um, but so, yeah, I think those are kind of the live things that I'm aware of right now. Um, but yeah, so, you know, I, I, but is there other concrete stuff we should talk about as far as what's happening right now, or should we kind of just get into how we want to work or what kind of longer horizon stuff? I mean, I can't think of anything else concrete right now. So I think if we want to talk a little, I guess the only other thing that's happening in town that might, that we might want to keep an eye on in terms of strategic engagements is I know the town council and GOL were just going over the charge for the committee that should be replacing the first reparations committee. Um, and since housing is one of their specific recommendations, that is, you know, once we, once that committee is kind of, 
in place that that would be probably a strategic partnership to work on. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, for sure. So yeah, I mean, when, so if you can kind of keep track of when you think that junction has, you know, like when, like when we're going to be there, like, just let us know and we can. That might be more big picture than concrete at this point. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah, but I yeah. Said words. yeah, I agree that it's a really good collaboration. I know the timeline for that seems to keep being delayed um because mm -hmm. now the charge has been rewritten and referred to committee again so we're probably a, a month or two out from them even having a charge let alone having a uh, membership right but yeah we'll see because i think in the last charge they removed housing as one of the like expected focuses and then said the membership was going to be able to determine their focus i would guess that housing would show up in that uh, but we don't know for sure, I suppose. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, it seems like... Yeah, being able to just track that process and probably, like, liaison back into the trust could be a pretty important role for this group. Bidirectional. Um, okay. Yeah. So, so I don't know, but, but what do you, what, what, what feels, how should we proceed here as far as like thinking forward? In terms of like meeting schedules, or are we thinking? Uh, no, I, I I guess I just mean like, you know, I, I, you know, I mean, I think just thinking about like the, you know, I mean, some of what we've already talked about gets at some of these things, you know, if we look at like kind of the list of goals from, from the action plan. Right. And I guess I'm just curious, like, you know, I mean, we talked a little about strategic engagement. Um, we haven't talked about an annual meeting. Um, we talked about like kind of events and opportunities for sure. Um, um, and, and I guess relationship building maybe is, you know, but I, you know, I'm just looking at this list here and just wondering like, you know, does it make sense to begin, you know, crafting the bones of a work plan or like, you know, you know, thinking about, you know, we have a sort of a five-year window here. And I think part of our task is to, you know, imagine how we'll, you know, attend to these things and, you know, and, and, and work on them over, you know, over that period. Also presuming that I, you know, I, ideally we'll, we'll see some healthy churn in this group, you know, as, as you know, over that five-year period. So um, kind of laying down some, some uh, initial ideas. I mean, and my, and my, my sense is it would take a few months to flesh up in like a work plan out, but um, while we're kind of doing some of it, but so I guess I have a question in terms of like open meeting law and process and stuff, because just thinking about something like number letter C reviewing upcoming town events and identify opportunities for the trust to participate. Like ideally it would make sense to just have like a running calendar and maybe not like a calendar, but like every September we know we're going to table at the block party every you know, August, we know we're going to do X, Y, and Z. Like, is there a way that a board can keep like a living document in, in like that's, that, that is shared among members and passed, you know, you know, because we have new chair and stuff like that. Like, I think John Hornick was kind of such an institution and in that he'd led the trust for so long and he had all this knowledge. And I think Carol... And Erica had, you know, taken the mantle and done a really good job, but I don't know how much of that, like, stuff that lived in John's brain came out of John's brain and into the rest, you know, how much of that gets passed down. And I do think it would be helpful rather than every time new members join reinventing all these wheels, if there's some sort of. Yeah, know, that's, that's a great question. You know, I, um. Yeah, I think we, I think the answer is yes. <laughs> you know, uh, I'll, you know, err on the side of liberalism here, <laughs> you know, and um, 
you know, I think, you know, especially since, you know, like, like a living document, for example, of, of events and looking at, you know, see kind of narrowly. Um, I think we could see, you know, I mean, I mean, so certainly, yes, we could, you know, we could survey John and uh, Carol and Erica to, um, to begin to develop that, um, you know, from, from their past experience. And then also, um, you know, because ultimately it's a logistics document, it's what, what are the opportunities to participate? It's not saying like, you know, what are we going to go talk about? Or, you know, here's the policy initiative. We want to go advance at this event. You know, those questions I think probably would merit consideration by the full trust, but when are the opportunities just as vessels um, mm -hmm. agnostic of strategic actions for the trust? Like, are we going to spend a bunch of money at this event? You know, just, I don't think we would ever do that in an event per se, but like, like those, some of those questions would be a little more, um, maybe a little more on the line as far as open meeting stuff, but just maintaining a list, I think is fine. You know, and I, I actually think, um, we could probably just, it, it could be public too, you know? I mean, it, it, you know, we could just, you know, add to it and, you know, put, put updated versions on our webpage too. Um, just so, um, you know, I, I don't know how that relates to, I don't know if that has any open meeting law utility to it, but it might also just be a good thing. I mean, one, one of the, I have a general question about like, you know, how can we share documents? You know, can we, I suppose we can have them all, public um i'm not quite sure though what how, how to sh if there's a process around sharing stuff that's outside the context of a board packet um i don't know if there are obligations or standards there i mean presumably it has to be public but we can do public folders and stuff i don't know if that answers your question hopefully Um, so yeah, I mean that, I mean, but, and that, and that could be a clean to do for one of you too, just to get, to get started is to go and, you know, follow up with John and Erica and Carol and, and see what kind of, you know, you know, what kind of list they have. I can look back and, you know, see what we have in the town files and just collate, we're going to collate something. Yeah, I can do some, some looking on how to, um, have carryover notes in a way that's compliant with open meeting law too because i'm with you greg i know there's a way to do it i know boards do it sometimes um especially in the in context of like churn of membership but i don't know how published it is um yeah and i'm agnostic to whether it, it would have to be published or not i mean if the law required it we could but you know um but yeah i just think like a almost um it's not quite guidelines but it's just sort of like a historic um almost like a procedure manual or something like that in a way you know i mean that that even that seems a little bit um heightened as a as a concept you know but um you know just now here, here's the three things we do every year, you know, make sure you do this, you know, we had some luck with this and, you know, you know, that kind of stuff just, you know, for the, for legacy purposes. Um, you know, what the agendas were for the annual community meetings, for example, you know, that could be another thing like, uh, you know, I'm sure there's pieces of those that have, and I don't think we've done them quite annually. We've not done one since I've been here. Um, but, I mean, you know, I'm sure there's pieces of those that have worked well and pieces that have, you know, have fallen flat, you know, capturing insights on that. And memorializing them, I guess, is the main thing. You know, and...
So, yeah, I mean, and I'll say too, and I, and I, I haven't typed it up yet. Um, and I, actually Erica may have, uh, she, she did some notes for the funding meeting, but the, the idea that they came up with, you know, was a sort of a matrix, you know, of, you know, of just like action items and then, and then timelines, you know, and some of the, some of the, you know, we, 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 but basically like, you know, here are the action, you know, here are the, the, the four or five planks in, in the action plan. And then looking at, you know, what, what should happen in two months, you know, what should happen in six, 12, 18. And then some stuff, I think, you know, some initial conversation was like, yeah, we're probably not getting to that for three years, you know, and that's because we need to build up to it. So that might be a, a good way to organize thoughts to sort of follow that format. Um, you know, I mean, I think like it, it, some of what's here, you know, and this stuff almost actually like, I mean, even just creating, starting from that list of events, but then maybe building into a calendar, you know, might be a good way to commit this, like figuring out like, what are the, the other events we definitely want, want to be part of. And then that might tell us, oh, okay. The gap in those is in some month. And then that month is a good month to do <laughs> a community meeting of our own, you know? And it's kind of one of those things where I think there might be some overlap with other subgroups in terms of, I'm just thinking like, oh, the human something where we talk with the people who want to be getting land from UMass and, you know, identify like who would be a strategic person to maybe represent the trust at something like that, if that makes sense as a objection. Sure. Yeah. And I, and I think, you know, so that, that to me could be like another kind of level of a matrix or a calendar mm -hmm. of like, you know, what, you know, of these 15 events we've, we've identified, you know, probably three to five, you know, are the most important. And then, you know, who are the people who should definitely be at that, you know, or here's the, here's the marginal ones that maybe relate to some other plank, you know, does anybody on another committee want to go to this marginal event, which might be relevant to their work mm -hmm. um, and sort of trafficking some of that, I mean, even just sort of staffing those and keeping track of who can, can do what, um, you know, might be a good function. I guess I guess like okay, we did the three goals and the four strategies with each one or whatever, but now we take each strategy and have like action items. So we're yeah, yeah. Um and, and I think it's also it, it might help organize you know, resources in the sense that like, you know, for example, if you all, the two of you said, Hey, we really want to work on, you know, I, I use that example of the CONCOM and the ZBA, you know, if that felt urgent right now, you know, I think you could delve into that and report back to the, the full trust and say, this seems, this seems important. And that could be the primary pursuit for a while, you know, or maybe this thing with, with, with the lead and, and, and ergo that's going to say, okay, well then er, ergo, we're going to put, we're not going to get to the other stuff for a few months because we're working on this. You know, I mean, I, I think figuring out what, you know, I'm just, yeah, I mean, and maybe that's just a good question for right now, you know, is like, is, you know, what is from the two of you, like what feels most exciting and, uh, you know, something you're, you're, you're most interested in, and working on up front about all this. I apologize. I just became unstable again, so I missed <laughs> half of what you said. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, no, I, I just kind of segued into just maybe just, a, a, you know, informally just, you know, querying both of you, you know, as far as what, you know, of the stuff that's on here or what we've already talked about, does, does anything really stand out that feels exciting to you that, aside from what the opportunities might be that happen to be timely, like what, you know, what are you both, you know, interested, you know, most interested in, in focusing on up front or what, what feels motivating to you? Honestly, this isn't something we've necessarily explicitly talked about here, although I think it's worth mentioning. 
I feel that we saw this some when we tabled at the block party, but also just anecdotally in interactions with people because our group is newer and younger and maybe a, a new type of town committee for a lot of people. Um, there seems to be some just confusion about what we are and what we do. And if we're thinking about some of these strategic engagement opportunities, which I think is great, I think we also need to spend some time thinking about how we present ourselves and maybe making some materials for that too. I know we did a little bit of that for the block party, but kind of advancing that work. And even if it's just coming up with some general flyers that look kind of nice that we can have whenever we go places, but also just succinct quick messaging. So when we are trying to explain to people what we do and how we fit into this affordable housing space, we can have consistent messaging that's like digestible to people. Because I feel sometimes when, even we saw this at the block party, I felt like people were getting a little bit confused and thinking maybe we were an affordable housing developer, um, which we're obviously not, or that we are like part of the town in a way that we weren't. Because I, I mean, admittedly, that's kind of a confusing relationship. Um, so we haven't really talked about it, but I think if we're talking about starting with kind of outreach and engagement, that feels like something we need to spend some time on as well. But I'd be happy to hear your all's thoughts on that as well. No, I mean, I think that makes sense because if we're going to be hosting an annual community meeting and, you know, working with other boards and working at town event, you know, showing up to town events or, other, you know, community events, like it does make sense to have like, this is what we're this is what we do. <laughs> um, so I think, I think that makes sense as a. Yeah. You know, this is who we, I, yeah, I uh, think that's a really solid idea, Alex. Um, you know, and, and I actually think, you know, it, it, it's the kind of effort that could be at various various depths of sophistication in useful ways, right? You know, because I think certainly there's the public consumption, you know, and like, how do we, you know, and I think we did have some, you know, yeah, we, we were like, oh, let's table, cool. And then we're like, all right, what are we gonna say? You know, and that was, and that was actually kind of, I think a, a very brief, but productive, um, uh, you know, interchange or, uh, you know, of, of different stakeholders on the trust. Um, um, but but certainly it was way too fast and, you know, and, you know, and I think it, it showed us what we could do quickly, but I think some time to do it slower and more intentionally would be good. I think so. Yeah, you have the public audience and and, and, and helping them understand what our role is and, you know, uh, how they relate and why they should care and all, all that. But then there's also internal audiences, certainly getting folks on the trust on the same page about like, you know, what's our, you know, what's our basic pitch, you know, our, our elevator pitch, as they say. Um, but then also like other town stakeholders, you know, I mean, even including staff, you know, um, uh, I have found that. You, and, and so it's not, you know, I think, you know, there, there's a little bit of, um, of, a, you know, of a, I don't know, of a layer there of, you know, of, of saying, you know, if, if we can get the trust to agree to, you know, that, that elevator pitch, you know, then that becomes a little bit easier, you know, for me is I'm sort of navigating stuff at the staff level of like, this is what the trust wants and this is how they see themselves. And, you know, um, you know, you know, so yeah, so I think that would be helpful in a lot of ways. So personally, I'd be very happy if we came back to our next meeting as, as the subcommittee, sorry, not with the full trust. Yeah. Um, and I'll brought some ideas on what that was, but sent, spent some time at our next meeting actually discussing and coming up with maybe a recommendation of an elevator pitch, at least, because I, I recognize as you're saying, there's different people we're engaging with and different information might be helpful in all of those, but at least thinking about when we're engaging with the public, if we can come up with kind of a, a draft elevator, elevator pitch to bring back to the whole trust, to then present and ask for feedback on to give us a starting place. But so hopefully that's some work that we could 
accomplish reasonably in a meeting of this size and have more of a discussion about it before we bring that back. That's a nice concrete step. <laughs> yeah, it and, seems great. And I think it would help layer some of the work for the other um, bullet points, for lack of a better word. Um, I mean, it's not necessarily the thing that jumps out as me at, at me as what this group like. Let me back that up. So I know that there's a consultant working on the HPP, but that seems like a time limited thing that is is coming up. So perhaps once that work rolls out, then D comes more into play if we're building relationships with the people that they're identifying yeah and i can give a little yeah i i would agree you know but i guess i'll say too that you know I, I, there's a lot of process involved in like the small group that you know worked on this and then pushed it back to the large group you know the full trust um And, as an, and also as the housing production plan is developed, like, I don't know, um, like there will be some segments of folks, but they will kind of be generic in a way, you know, like, for example, like there's, I just saw some cool data, I'm not unfortunate, but, but compelling data about, um, you know, a set of, uh, of homeowners that are extremely cost burdened and adverse, you know, um, but, the, but, but, but that's the segment, you know, we wouldn't, it wouldn't be like, you know, um, you know, homeowners who are, you know, of a certain nationality who live in this corner of town, it, it wouldn't be that narrow, probably. Right. I, don't, I don't think we're going to get, um, you know, so point being like, if, if there was a constituency that, you know, that one of you was, you know, super focused on right now, we could, you know, like that we just informally know our cost burden or experience housing challenges you know, we could start working there now, but we don't have to either. You know, we could also just wait and sort of let the HPP guide it a little bit. Um, and in fact, maybe we, now that I think about it, we're going to have that draft needs assessment in a week. So we should just wait probably and see how, how detailed that is, or if that evokes, you know, any inspiration in us. Yeah. So maybe a to do for this group is that, you know, all three of us should look at that draft mm -hmm. with this question in mind and, and see if it inspires anything. I know I just I started there one place and ended another place. But that's sorry. fine. That's kind of, I feel like this is brainstorming and sometimes it takes us on a journey. Um, Always. So I mean I think I think it does make sense to kind of prioritize what's in front of us in the more immediate future. And I think thinking about the number of units that is at stake in terms of the Belcher Town Road South. East Street is it that Southeast Street there or is it Northeast? Uh, I, yeah, yeah. The regular East it's Southeast Street, I think. But um, so again, looking looking at um, what's going on there might be more of a priority at this time, and then say scheduling an annual meeting where we might not be ready to do that until sometime in the middle of next year or something. Right on. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I the, yeah, and I guess a later I would ask, like, yes, I, I think that is kind of timely. Um, but I would also kind of follow up and ask, like, does that feel like you know motivating to you? Like, is that is is that something you're 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 somewhat attracted to personally, as far as like, you know, ha having the the energy for it and whatnot? Like, is it, you know, is that? Um, something you want to chew on, I guess. I mean, I think it's an important project and it's a project that we've been, you know, I've I've been on the trust since we like put the RFP out for it. So it is something that has felt kind of on the back burner with the, you know, Amherst community homes coming up and I feel like they were able to turn things out a lot quicker. Um, so... I think if it's going, if it's potentially impacting timelines and things like that, it would be something important to look at. I'm just, I'm not sure if I'm 
the best person to get in the weeds on <laughs> on the conservation committee and the ZBA, but I also I also would be willing to kind of learn something different. <laughs> like I just don't have that mind frame around zoning as like my primary. Sure. Like, yeah. No. That 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 makes sense. So and so. Um. Yeah, and I guess I what you know, and and I'm. I understand that stuff a little bit more, but, you know, also I'm, you know, <laughs> not, not myself a planner, you know, in, in the same way that Nate or, you know, or Jacinta on the team are, you know, and I, I also think too, that this is one of those things that um, probably does merit consideration, full consideration, sorry, mm -hmm. consideration from the full trust, mm -hmm. because, how, you know, if, if, and how we insert, you know, I think, um, you know, has just sort of strategic implications that, uh, you know, I think we're, we're obligated to go back to the full group with. Um, so I guess what I'm, you know, you know, maybe we could do, a little bit of research. I'm just trying to think of like process wise, you know, how to go about this. Um, you know, maybe I'll do, a little bit of poking around at a staff level and then I could see like, you know, uh, you know, Hey, like, um, you know, and I, I think another thing to do too, and, and I, 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 I'll double check with Nate, but I think it's probably fine. Um, another clean way to come at this would be for, you know, for somebody just to contact uh, Jamie with Wayfinders and just sort of, you know, ask for his evaluation of, the issue and conf you know and, and see what level of um concern they have or you know what the you know what practical solutions they think would be good or or less good um you know to you know if there is indeed a you know a an engineering conflict that has to be resolved one way or the other um so yeah i mean if i kind of got that ball rolling internally Allegra, would you be down to do a little bit of the of the of the outreach to sort of yeah. sc just for scoping purposes? Yes, and then we could we could decide if you know if we wanted to talk about it to full trust. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay, and I honestly think for like a more immediate next step for num for letter A, like identifying which municipal boards might be worth like connecting with is just a good place to start with that one so i don't know if maybe the next time we meet we want to have you know a list of like oh maybe are these worth talking to that's a good idea um you know and i think um you know i mean i i for sure that that seems like a, pro a productive concrete thing um and you know and, and i think the question you know with this zba concom thing we may determine like it's possible this is going to get resolved either way before we're able to um to weigh in, you know, in, mm -hmm. in, in a super thoughtful way. So I'll, I'll see if I can get a read on that. Um, um, that's right. So, so how about I'll, I'll do some internal investigation and then, you know, follow up with, if it seems like, there, like there's a pos a possibility for us to have some influence in whatever the relevant window is, I'll follow up with Allegra. And then that we'll have to bring something to the full trust if we were going to do that, I think probably we'd have to do it in a couple of weeks uh, on the 14th. Um, and so just for so just... and process purposes, mm -hmm. if you follow up with me and say, yes, we need to bring something to the trust, I as liaison and chair for this group can do that at the 14th meeting without this whole body having then met again necessarily to go over 
what's happening. I'm just, I'm just thinking. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good, um, yeah, I think so. I think so. Yes. Because, because we're not, you know, where it's logistics to the, in the sense that, um, um, or we could just, maybe the thing to do is just to, just to plan to do it now. And then we could do some research and if we get there and on the, on the 14th, if it feels like it's not the right action at the time, the, you know, the two of you can just weigh in as such and say, you know, the research we did between November 1st and November 14th tells us that. And, and I think that would probably be a cleaner way to come at it. Does that make sense? Oh, still there? Am yeah. I still there? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> sorry. I said um, yes, but it might not. Oh, 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 sorry. Yeah, you might. Okay. So yeah. So let's let's like plan on doing that, and you know, and then if if the work that Allegra and I do between now and the fourteenth ends up suggesting, uh, you know, that this is not a path we should pursue, um, you know, we can present that, and Alex and Allegra can weigh in. Um, you, you both can weigh in at the 14th sorry on the 14th at the meeting saying after doing some research we no longer think this is a um a priority but we'll put it on the agenda or i'll request that gaston put it on the agenda um from here okay. all right so I guess are we ready to talk about how often we would meet? That um yes, Alex, should, should we should we do some scheduling here? Yeah, uh, that sounds um so I will just start by saying that um I hope to strategically be a part of as many of these subgroup meetings as possible, but I think it's probably unlikely that I'll hit all of them. Um, uh, you know, so we should leave with you, your two schedules, I think, and then. Go from there. So I guess how often are we thinking of meeting? What can we get? Guy, what's the other group doing? <laughs> it's a great question. Um, and you know, wait, what did we say? So I see. So this is why. This is why uh, I'm not committing to notes for every meeting. But Erica did, bless her heart, send me a draft of minutes. Let's see. Um, Erica, 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 Erica. Maybe you should send to me. Oh, are you see my email now? <laughs> are you still on the the uh I'm yeah, I'm sorry. Here we go. Erica uses the Chromebooks, so we got kind of editing documents together with my my Google account. Now sometimes she'll send stuff to my Gmail instead of. All right, what do we say? Next steps. Um, oh, I think we didn't have a calendar actually. So I don't. I think I think they were thinking monthly. I think Rob didn't have his calendar. So I don't think we named a, um, um, yeah, so I think they were thinking to meet monthly, um, but that's not, you know, I, I, to me, that's prop at least that frequency is probably 
important. Um, and I think it can be cyclical beyond that, depending on, on the season, right. what's going on. Great. Allegra, is there a certain day or time that always works better for you? I mean, for me, Friday, typically, well, Fridays are my day off. So I'm free on Fridays, though I also tend to schedule all the things I need to do on Fridays. So I'm just looking at my upcoming Fridays. If Friday is not, and I know Greg is less available or should be less available on Friday since it is also his day off. Um, Yeah, but if that, you know, if if that works and there's ever like a really, you know, a meeting I, I ever really need to be at, um, you know, especially if it's between, you know, if it's during school hours, I can zoom into a meeting on, on Fridays. So that's the best one for you guys. Does Friday work for you, Alex? Or? Yeah, Friday's easiest because I don't have class on Friday. So I work at the gallery all day, but it's easier for me to step out for a little bit from that. Um. So there's, I'm looking at, would the 6th of December work as a good Friday to try and meet next? I'm just thinking like the 15th is the day after our regular meeting so that I don't know if there's much that would need to be. And then I'm busy the next two Fridays, so. And next Friday, so. Um, that should work, yeah. Is that the first, so shooting for the first Friday? Yes, mm -hmm. which also happens to be today. That's the first Friday. Um, sure, that, that works for me. Okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, like, you know, yeah, and I'll, you know, and I think as I'll opportunistically, I, I should be good for next month for that. Um, um, you know, it's kind of fun to do a meeting like from home and then, <laughs> and then be done, but uh <laughs> Um, but yeah, but as you guys get into more in the weeds, I, I might have to skip some, but, um, yeah. okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Hey, one random first Friday, and I guess I can do, I think I can do a regular Zoom thing. Um, oh, and I'll have to figure out, so Alex, you have a paid Zoom account? I I do. It's through the university. So it's like an enterprise Zoom account. Um, but I think I have full functionality with that. Okay. Yeah, I need to figure out how if there's a way for me to empower one of you. That's I have to look into that. Um and is ten sorry, is ten fifteen good for, for for this day? Alex, ten fifteen is good? Yeah. That works. Sorry. Sorry. Um, sorry, I'm not looking at the screen. Uh, so I, I, so I will send out a calendar invite, and I'd like to do a recurring, like Zoom thing. What I need to figure out though is, is there, you know, is there a way? Maybe we have a dummy account or something on the town Zoom, or maybe we can just add one of you. Uh, you know, so I have to look into. That I think we have to do webinars to make them accessible for other people, but I'm pretty sure I can't make either of you a co-host unless you're on the same Zoom account, like like the, the town account. So I'll, I'll I'll look into like a tech solution for that if one exists, um, or what the cleanest way to do that is. So you might get an invite from me without a Zoom link. Um, while I figure that out. Okay. All right. Um. So, okay. Is there anything else we should cover or? I don't think so. All right. This is good. So, so I'm going to do some, just looking back. Um, I mean, Alex, do you want to maybe just come up with a, a, like a really rough, you know, and we can like, we like make some ideas too, but you want to mm -hmm. sketch something up as far as like a, a really first stab at um, like, like an elevator pitch or however you want to think about it. For sure. Yeah. Um, do you think that we should on our next 
agenda with the whole trust add it as a motion just to refer that to us so we can actually work on it in our subcommittee meeting is that something we have to do um i don't think that we need a motion but i think you know i i think we'll do some some quick committee updates maybe um okay. Uh, and you can just, you know, and you can just, sh you know, share and, and, and we're going to bring it back to the trust anyway, you know, right. and I would expect okay. like some process there, frankly, um, you know, just cause that's how we do that. But I think it's largely healthy for us. Um, so yeah, so let's just plan to do an update. Um, and then, um, okay. Um, so you're going to do good. that. You're, you're going to get something started there, but I think very, you know, raw material, um, um, Allegra is going to meet with, uh, uh, with League of Women Voters folks. We're all going to read, um, the HPP with, um, the, the, the needs assessment with like constituencies in mind. Um, just, you know, for back of our head, I'm going to follow up with Allegra about the ZBA and zoning stuff. Um, uh, we have a meeting and a list of boards. So our next meeting, the... I think the talking point or the, the elevator pitch, um, probably the League of Women Voters thing will, will, will need some attention and possibly this zoning thing. It might be resolved by then. And the list of boards. Um, and I think that will be a, a healthy meeting in a month. Sounds good. Allegra, I think, is, does that sound good, Allegra? You, you may have said yes. yes. You're, okay, yes. cool. All right. Um, so I'll um, um, so I'll probably put that in an agenda format and send it your way to approve, but um, awesome. Okay. Um, Do I have to officially adjourn us? <laughs> I don't think so, but if you want. <laughs> we are adjourned. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you both. I'm excited. <laughs>